one of these things is not like the others? Which one is different? Do you know? Can you tell which thing is not like the others? I'll tell you if it is so. Well, were you able to guess which video didn't belong? Did you use the title as a clue? If you guessed it was the father pushing his kid on a swing, well, you'd be wrong. While three of these videos seem much more destructive than the swing set, that's not what unifies them. Here the odd phenomena out is the nuclear bomb. That's because the other three are all manifestations of a phenomena called resonance. The concept of resonance is one of the more spectacular effects in physics. It's the tendency of a system to vibrate or oscillate dramatically when it's driven at certain frequencies. We've all experienced this effect. It can be as enjoyable as being pushed on a swing, or as jarring as driving on the rumble strips on the side of a highway. Most of us have some intuition for how it works. Ask yourself, what's the best way to push someone on a swing? I suppose you could push them once, really, really hard, but this can have undesirable consequences. The best time to push them is when they've just started falling away from you. You can apply a small force over a fairly long time. It's now possible to build up a large height over many swings back and forth. If you remember trying to learn how to swing by yourself, you'll remember how important that timing is. If you don't pump your legs often enough, or pump them too often, you won't go anywhere. But if you pump them at just the right frequency, you can get going really high. I think most of you probably have some intuition for this. Who knew? You guys were all already experts in physics. Let's get a bit more complicated. The wine glass is very similar to the on the swing. Well, sort of. Hopefully the kid won't shatter. With the wine glass, sound plays the role of the pusher, while the glass plays the role of the swing. You see, sound is just a pressure wave traveling through a medium. In this case, the air. When the waves hit the glass, it pushes the glass back and forth by a tiny amount. Just like the swing, if you push the glass too frequently or too slowly, it won't build up a large amplitude. In order for the amplitude to grow, the frequency of the sound has to match the natural frequency of the glass. If you're curious what that frequency is, ping the side of the glass. The sound you hear is the natural frequency. This happens to be around 500 hertz for many glasses, meaning you want the sound generated by the speakers to be around 500 hertz. If the volume of the speaker is high enough and the sound waves hit the glass just right, the glass can be shattered by sound alone. The important thing to realize here is that it's not just the volume of the sound that breaks the glass. I guess you could try picking a random tone and cranking up the volume, but it would probably deafen everyone in the room. By hitting the resonance frequency, you can break the glass with a lower volume because large vibrations can build up over time. And bonus, no broken eardrums. The last example of resonance we'll look at is a bit more abstract. It's the Tesla coil. A Tesla coil is basically a voltage transformer that lets you make impressive lightning shows. It's also my current project for the next couple of Idiots for Physics videos. Instead of physically vibrating, this system relies on a coil called an inductor and two conducting plates called a capacitor to move electrons through a circuit. The thing that's swinging back and forth is actually the electrical current. This is a bit technical and really deserves its own video. But just like the wine glass, driving the system at its natural frequency can produce some pretty spectacular effects. So there you have it. Three examples of resonance. The reason I dedicated an entire video to this is because it's the perfect example of the power of physics. It's a single concept that unifies many drastically different phenomena. We can actually use this to make predictions about how other systems with natural frequencies behave. Studies have shown that students who come into university physics with the outlook that physics is a collection of unified concepts tend to do a lot better than those who view physics as a collection of disparate facts. So if you take one thing away from this video, take that concept. Physics is a unifying force for our understanding of the universe, not some collection of random trivia that has no bearing on real life. And if you need a more concrete example of the importance of resonance, well, this is what happens if you fail to take it into account. Thanks for watching. This episode was brought to you by the letters P, H, and D. You may not be able to heal anyone, but at least they have to call you a doctor.